Should we go wipe your boogery nose? No. Whoa, what a shot. Hot, it's not, it's cheese is not hot, I promise. Eat your cheese. It's fun to try to figure out what she's saying. You're welcome. You're snuggling up by the fire. Just chilling with some shades. Yeah. It's my favorite color. I've had it with them for a long time. Your pink glasses. Yeah. Whoa, Dad, look, they're bird tracks. I thought I saw a little um, human footprint. I think she's talking to you, Isaac. Are you rocking? Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Honk, honk. <gasps> There's a wheel. The wheel on the bus goes round, round and round. Round, round, round and round. round. Round and round. Well, there's snow on the ground today, but the roads are fine. So Janae and I are headed into a doctor's appointment. It's a weight check for her to see if she's growing. We've been working so hard trying to feed her everything under the sun to see if she can gain some weight. I'm a little bit nervous. Hoping for good news. Somebody thinks she's a big girl. She just wants to sit in the waiting room. So we just weighed her, which she did not like. She does not like sitting on the scale. Guys, she didn't gain any weight. We've been trying everything, everything. <sighs> it's stressful when things aren't going the way they should. I'm grateful that she is pretty darn healthy. Don't get me wrong, I'm really grateful that she is healthy and developmentally she's doing really well. Just whenever something's concerning the doctors with your kids. It's obviously concerning to you as a parent, even more so. You just want her to grow and be healthy. And I feel nervous, I think, just because of the unknowns. Like, is this just a short phase and then she's gonna keep growing? Or is there something else that we need to work through with her? <laughs> so did you have fun playing with friends? All of the kids were hanging out with friends this morning. It was a snow day for school, so they had friends that weren't in school and could play. jenny has been talking up a storm, and then I turn on the camera and she's quiet. Dada. Dada. I'm thinking about Dada, too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What can we do to help you grow? Uh, Are you feeling okay? Dada, no way. I love hearing her little voice and all the things she has to say. So what'd you make with your friends? We made muffins. Muffins. I got cakes. the idea. Muffin cakes. Awesome. They're yummy. We'll have to try it. And the sledding I found out this way. So I push it and then it's about on the steep part. Then you run and jump on the very edge. So then the weight's on the edge. And then you just go vroom. So we're just waiting for the doctor now to hear what she recommends at this point. <laughs> We're watching the cars drive by while we wait. What do you see? Yeah. That, there's a car. Yeah. Boom, there it yeah. goes. Yeah. Well, I had a nice talk with the doctor and she's concerned about Janae and her growth curve because she's not growing. And so she's referring us on to a failure to thrive clinic here at the Children's Hospital in our area. And we're also hopefully today going to go get a bunch of blood work done on Janae just to check everything. They also said we may need to go to a nutritionist and we may need to see a GI specialist. They're considering testing her for celiac disease and all sorts of other stuff. Basically, because she's not growing at all and she hasn't grown at all for about 10 months, they want to check everything and make sure there's nothing stopping her from growing. Obviously, this isn't the news that any parent wants to hear. So we are concerned. We're trying to do everything that the doctor asks us to and be diligent in that. I'm also trying really hard not to completely stress about it because my stress isn't gonna help the situation. I need to do my best and stay focused and just love that little girl and do the best we can to take care of her and hopefully she'll start growing. <laughs> <laughs> so Elise set up a basket in her room too. She's dunking. Ah! Whoa, what a shot. Oh. Janae and I are headed in to get her blood work done. That's the next step. When I talked to the doctor this afternoon, she just said there's lots of testing we need to be doing and they're even considering admitting her to the hospital. But the 
first step is blood work. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm so grateful to have an awesome children's hospital in our area. It makes a really big difference when you have a kid that's struggling. You know, it was really helpful with Caleb and all of his procedures and testing. And grateful to be taking Janae somewhere today that I know can handle her age kid. You gonna try all the chairs? <laughs> Climb up. There you go. <laughs> Sit. Should we go wipe your boogery nose? No. Yes. How are the tacos? They're really good. Yeah, mine broke. Yours broke apart? Yeah. Taco salad, mini tacos. Ow, I got a toy for you to play with in my bag. Ah. Press button, oh, all gone, draw again. Well, we're all done, and Janae did great. She obviously cried when she actually was getting her blood drawn, but she recovered really quickly afterwards and was smiling and being so friendly. And the nurses were really wonderful with her, and she was saying hello to everybody. It was really sweet. Well, Janae's back from the hospital. <coughs> you eaten? <coughs> so I guess I'm a little nervous with getting the blood work done on Janae. With her not growing and developing the way that she should, it's scary to think that something might be wrong. I hope you're okay, big girl. So I'm cleaning up the kitchen and I opened up Elisa's lunchbox and I found the sweetest note from Isaac. Just made me really happy. One of our mantras in our family is Johnston's are flexible because plans change all the time. I really was hoping to get the Christmas decorated, but you're more important. Yeah. I'm beating her all my avocado. Which is true love, by the way. Because you love avocado so much? <laughs> yes. Or if she'll take it. But avocado is high in fat. No. Do you want a bite? <laughs> well, tonight we were gonna finish decorating the Christmas tree, but it was just totally unexpected to be taking Janae to the hospital to get blood work done. It threw our plans off. Hopefully we'll be able to do it soon. Thanks so much for watching, for thinking about our family, for praying for us. We really appreciate you. Good night, Jay House out. At Janae's pace, this might be the longest hike ever.